So, you might have heard it already, but the Yankees put Harrison Bader on waivers. And it's a little confusing. Why did they do this now? What are waivers, all that? Well, I'll explain that, but the summary to all this is that the Yankees just keep proving to be a foolishly run organization that is incapable of planning ahead. So, waivers... Harrison Bader is on waivers, and how it works is that over the ne next 48 hours, or 48 hours since he was placed on waivers, any team can just make a claim on him. And there's a um, like ranking system for those teams in who gets a higher claim. And that goes by the your reverse record. So if the team if a team is first place in all of them will be, then they have to wait for every other team to not claim a player before they can get them. Now, that just means that any postseason team is now looking at Harrison Bader and saying, hey, we can just add a great defensive speedy center fielder to our roster and we don't even have to give up prospects or anything. That's amazing. So he's going to get claimed by a lot of teams and we'll just have to see who is lowest down in the order in the waiver order to see who gets him now you might be wondering why would the yankees do this what do they get out of this because you used to be able to do some tr um trading with waivers after the trade deadline it was a weird technicality thing but that no longer exists so the yankees cannot get anything for harrison bader they put him on waivers, and whatever team claims him and is lowest in the order gets him. But they also have to pay the rest of his contract. And this gets to the point of it, the luxury tax. You might remember, but the Yankees are not technically over the final hurdle in the luxury tax, which is $293 million. They are over the luxury tax, but the, only the first and second hurdles. So if they go over the $293 million, they have to pay additional fees. And the Yankees are really, really close to that figure. Right now, they look to be about $200,000 away. And that's not a lot of breathing room. Harrison Bader is going to make about $1 million in the rest of the season. So when he gets claimed by a team it gives the Yankees more breathing room for that final tier of the luxury tax. How stupid is that? <laughs> How stupid is it that the Yankees are now just giving up Harrison Bader for nothing just to avoid paying a little extra money when they could have traded him at the trade deadline, gotten prospects, and dumped all of his salary? Everyone, every single Yankees fan, was saying either buy or sell at the trade deadline. Do one or the other. You can either buy and go all in because the team as it currently is and was constructed was not going to make it to the postseason. That was obvious to anyone with eyes watching them play games. The Yankees are and were awful. So they could either buy and try to retool the entire squad or... They could sell. They could sell players like Harrison Bader, maybe even Glaber Torres, and try to retool for next year. Get some prospects in the farm system. Because the farm system right now, it's not too great. So you could have sold Harrison Bader, dumped that salary, been giving yourself more leeway with the additional luxury tax tier, and gotten a decent prospect for Bader. Because... He hadn't gotten on his major slump before the trade deadline. He was hitting all right while playing great defense. They could have gotten some good prospects for him. But they, they didn't do either of that, though. It just makes no sense. The Yankees could have bought or sold. They easily could have sold Harrison Bader and avoided this whole issue while getting prospects. It's not like this is a unforeseen thing that's happening right here with the Yankees this was obvious and they just did nothing 
The Yankees are just so, so poorly run. I mean, you blame Brian Cashman, the general manager, for not doing anything at, at the trade deadline. And then there are some reports that Hal Steinbrenner, the owner, prevented him from doing stuff. It seems like the Yankees just keep tripping over their own feet. It's just pathetic. Oh, and the kicker of this story? Harrison Bader found out he was put on waivers while watching ESPN in the clubhouse. The Yankees didn't even tell him. You know, you would expect the Yankees to at least have the humanity to have Aaron Boone pull him over and say, hey, we're putting you on waivers, this is what it means, blah, blah, blah. But nope, they didn't tell him anything at all until he found it out in the clubhouse. I think it was an hour or less before the game started. <laughs> That's just embarrassing for an organization. That's just looks terrible. But yeah, that's the Yankees. They're hilariously bad at this point. And I wonder if they can fix this over the offseason with the current people in the organization. Is this front office, this ownership, able to make changes and get them back to a postseason next year? I really don't know. All I know right now is that the Yankees are acting more like a comedy show than a baseball team.